Hello, it's Veronica and Naomi. And we're here today reviewing Fear Book Twyla from Monster High Generation 3. And we're using a ring light because our dog was allowed to borrow one. So this is a slight adjustment, but we're trying to, to figure this out. And we have Twyla with us because we want to compare her to our Fear Book version. Even though we did restyle this one's hair into a high pony, because that Twyla is notorious for having unmanageable box hair. Yeah. So our Darwin's birthday's coming up, and she got Fear Book Twyla as an early birthday gift from a very good friend of hers. This is a doll she has been eyeing for a bit, and we are excited to finally review her. As you can see on, so there's Twyla in her box. She's really, really gorgeous. So, and you can see all the little, little, little board game related accessories she has, her little Farsi jacket, her, her little baby doll dress. Like she's a gorgeous, gorgeous Twyla doll. And the ring light's kind of awkward to show the box art, but I'm sure you can see her box art and how pretty it is. So her box art shows her holding a, a board game in the shape of Monster High School. It's very, very cute. Then says Faith Club, Gulsh Gamers, there. So you know Twyla's a gamer. And the dice do hint at D&D, &D, which stands for Dungeons and Dragons, if you do not know what that stands for. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons is a famous, like, tabletop game. Where, where people use their imagination, and it has a specific die for it. So the dice with this is referencing that. So let's just get, get a close look at Twyla and her accessories real quick before we show the rest of the stuff. Obviously, the plastic on the front is very shiny. But yeah. There's nothing remarkable on this side of the box. Just clear plastic. Now there's the back of the box. It says Monster High. And then the fear book line, you have the Twyla, Toraline, Draculaura. There's Twyla's artwork. It's very cute. And then there's what it says on for her bio. It's like after goal activity, game master spotlight. And it's like, why did you join that ghoulish gamers club? And her response was playing board games with my booze is free and come, come true. So she likes playing board games. Honestly, Twilight really feels like the kind of person who would beat you at a game of chess without even thinking about it. If I had to figure out what type of gamer she was, like, she would... I feel like she's probably really into, like, strategy games and games that require escapism and, and using your imagination. And then there's the other side of the box. It says, Monster High Fear Book. Yeah, there's her barcode. If you're ever looking for this doll in stores. But let's get, get, get Twyla unboxed and see what this doll is all about after the short break. So we're back. We have her out of the box. We washed her hair as well. And it's definitely nicer than her original doll. The hair experience with her original doll 
was definitely awkward, one may say. But this time it didn't take as much brushing as that, so. So yeah. As for her outfit, I'm sure you can see that she's wearing this adorable baby doll dress and such a beautiful shade of purple. It has really nice purple lace trim on parts of it. Yeah. It has a nice pattern for it looks old fashioned. It has little bugs on it in black. Because one of her themes is bed bugs. There's her face. And we made her, her ponytails a little higher. And she looks really cute, good with her hair, hair pulled back like this. She doesn't have bangs like her original version. But her hair is definitely more manageable here. Then her eye makeup is really stunning. So it has like... Has that minty turn that minty green color, pastel pink, and light purple, and it's pretty, and her lips are also a nice purple. No colors match the colors on her dress, by the way, so, yeah. Then for her earrings... They look like little door knockers or something like that. But, but they're really cute. They're simple. They're nice. And they're smaller, so they're not overstated. They're not over dramatic. They're just kind of there. Just has a little ribbon on her chest. On her dress, which is really nice. Because Twilight's dolls have this, have this little black ribbon a lot of the time. So her hands are pink. Like she's using her dream powers. She has the usual markings on her arms. Then the markings on her legs are slightly different from her original doll, which is definitely nice. You can definitely see it. Then her shoes are these big, chunky turquoise heels with the with the with this dramatic swirl pattern with like really nice purple bows on the sides. They actually do look quite lovely. And if those those days details were painted, these shoes would be even better. They actually would have been so pretty and just like a simple purple match the, her dress. But something had to match the Beth Turquoise bracelet on her arm. So yeah. And this bracelet is probably in the same mold as her original fidget bracelet from her original doll. If you don't know why she wears a lot of her, her dolls always wear the bracelet, it's because Twyla's character is, is autistic and the bracelet is her fidget object. So whenever she's nervous, she'll just fidget with her bracelets. And yeah, it's kind of like something she does. Oh yeah, and she also has little hair clips. That are like black. And they look almost like like bed bugs with little spider webs on their bodies. But yeah. Let's get the file back in place so we could go over her accessories. So for Twyla's accessories. You have her little game board with like the little die and little like 
and the cute little versions of her like pets. There's the game board. So you have her game board with the little D&D style die and her pet. And a little like 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 replica of the Monster High School. This is a very cute piece. And we're definitely going to keep this. Because, yeah, it's just adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. And it comes with a little, like, cardboard fear book. So from the fear book, it says fear book. Master High has his name on it. You open this up. This is what it shows. So it shows a picture of her. With like an image of Dustin with the word dream. Dustin is the name of her pet Dust Bunny, by the way. That she got from a dream, so yeah. Watch the show if you want back run on her pet. And then the other half shows some pictures from the board games club. Shows her and Angulia. So it shows her holding Dustin. It shows it shows Laguna playing as well. It shows her her with like the cookies. But yeah, it's very cute. Then there's the back. Then it says Creeper of Fake Monster High. But yeah, there's the fear book. It's just a cute piece. And this piece was just a cardboard piece that came with it. But it's meant to look like a page from a lake. A gaming manual or something. Or like one of those D&D character sheets. And it has her game piece, which basically looks like her pet. Very on theme. And then two other items are her, her plate of cookies. And the box of cookies to go with it. <laughs> so there is her plate of cookies and her box of cookies it's very very cute very monster themed per usual and also her makeup is definitely more intense than her original doll from G3 so we have so we have have her creepover doll next to her just for comparison and yeah these dolls do have very different makeup and one of them has bangs and one of them doesn't so there's that now for her little varsity jacket there is the jacket it says something on there like age something H. I'm not sure what that means. If anyone knows what that means or what that on her what that's referencing on her jacket, please let me know. I haven't seen that far into the Monster High show. But yeah. Her jacket seems to be like referencing D D again or something like that. There's the back of it. It's just blank. And the and it's purple. A nice felt-like material. With like some shadowy shapes on it. And then the sleeves have like nice little swirl patterns. Like the stuff on her legs. And yeah. There's her varsity jacket. <laughs> And if you like this style of review, please let us know. Because we really want to work on our on our style of doing doll reviews. We want people to be comfortable with it. So please let us know if this is an improvement. But anyways. And there are the day two Twilas together. And her shadows are also slightly lighter than her shadows, so, yeah. As for their, their difference in leg shadows, 
Normally, we keep socks on her because some of her shadows have rubbed off. But you can tell that the patterns and the colors are distinctly different here. And the faces. So they are their faces up close. So you can tell that they both have different makeup and that their hair is done differently in the front, especially. But yeah, that's our review on Monster High Generation 3 Fear Book Twyla. And we hope that you like it and, and all that. But there's one last shot if you want to look at them together to really see the difference here. So what do we think of this Twyla? Well, we feel like she is easily one of the best versions of Twyla you can get, other than Creepover, of course. And also, we know that, that her Skull Miss Secrets dolls have polypropylene hair, while these two versions have Saran hair. So if you want a Saran hair Twyla, go for either of these two. Because they're both really beautiful. They're both amazing for what you're getting. And, and we're convinced that these are the best versions of her character from G3. But yeah, this all gets an obvious 10 out of 10 from us. She's really beautiful. She's really adorable. And we love that, that, that she embraces Twyla's very pastel goth style. That we, that we already find really really nice so goodbye mysterious audience i love you naomi loves you and that was our review on monster high generation three fear book twyla and if you want to keep up with more doll reviews whenever we whenever we get more dolls please like and subscribe and, and all that that's youtuber stuff Thank you for watching.